All right, all right, all right. Welcome to the beginning of the stream that will be the finale for UFO Enemy Unknown. At least I hope so. Today we go to Sidonia. Before that, we have one battleship to fight that I'm going to. One, one scout fight probably as well there in the middle. But uh, let's jump in. Let's watch the intro one more time. And uh, let's prepare for the final fight. So everything is ready. I just need to assemble the team that will fly to Mars. Take down the aliens. I have not played the final mission before, obviously, because this is my first playthrough. I have seen just tiny little bits of it. Uh, there's uh, at least a kind of similar, similar, similar things there as you have in the alien base assault. Hey, Porotaka, thank you so much for the two months. Cheers, man. But, um, oh, and also, I probably want to finish my fusion blaster tank. So I think I will take one plasma tank and one of the, one of the fusion blaster tanks to Mars. Seven hour mission on Mars? I don't know. I don't know. We, we might go for 12 hours or 24 hours if, uh, <laughs> if, if that's what it takes. So I really want to finish today. Just so I can start there from the deep tomorrow. Yes, fusion blaster tank. We are already building it. We are already building it. When I load into the game, the adventure is already on the way. Already on the way to Japan, where I shot down the other battleship. And uh, just to see, just to check where we are. So I'm I'm done with the research. I'm I'm just researching something. I didn't bother bother uh, firing the scientists or anything anything like that. We are making more flying suits. Uh, preferably all who go to Mars would have one. So we need 18. Uh, Isha is building some laser cannon uh, laser tanks. I don't know, even know what I why I'm actually building those. You know what? I should probably just stop that because we are making the we are making the hover tank uh, with um, with the blast launcher here. It's 17 hours. You know what, Asia? You can you can just stop those. Well, it's, it's 15 hours actually. You can make the bombs after that. Yeah, let's uh, let's go with that. And these places are not doing anything because they are brand new. All right, but we uh, we also have uh, shot down scouts in South America that uh, U.S. Sky Ranger is going to. So let me actually see which one of these will get there first. I think we might actually get this one in the end. Uh, let me see. This is this is Crash Site Forty Nine. This is Crash Site Fifty. Okay. We'll see which one triggers first. I think it's actually the smaller one, which is actually nice. That will be a nice warm up, although it will be night time. Yeah, I think it will be. I think it will be. Uh, will be this. Okay, so it will be floaters, the battleship. Oh, oh no, it's close. Oh, the battle Avenger won. <laughs> Avenger won, so uh all right, it actually shows who lands there. Okay, so it is a it is a shot down battleship, sectoids, cyber discs, just like the yesterday's mission where we did lose Ezekiel. Ezekiel, but uh, this time we have the better mind control team, but uh, that mission showed that it's not uh, not always always easy. Let's so let's have a very quick prediction for you guys who are already here from the beginning. And I still 
didn't okay I will I will put a big freaking note on my on my um <laughs> What am I here? Reorder soldiers in Avenger. Okay, make that bigger. There we go. Okay, now I have a huge ass note on my <laughs> on my desktop because I didn't I didn't remember to reorder them. We need number nine and number fourteen to be the expendables who are throwing the throwing the smoke grenades, and I still didn't remember. This is like this is like the third mission already, and I still forgot. Okay, let's uh, let me actually load my soldier name list here as well. Speaking of which, uh, for anyone who who redeems names or who has redeemed names lately, uh, you will be going into the terror from the deep instead of this one. Uh, we have we might get some of the recruits who are unnamed still to the final mission if they are high in sight psionic power so you might get in into this one as well and then i will take a to take a, um, take a look at all the soldiers who has been seeing a lot of action a lot of missions and who hasn't and those who hasn't i will uh, i will take those names directly into the from the deep anyway let's um, let's go with the guys i have even that they are not 100% in ideal positions. There we go. And because we are fighting sectoids, I will have to will have to drop the weapons a little bit when we get in. And this is the adventure, so this is daytime. The US mission that will follow right after is uh, is nighttime. Let's see. We parked at the western edge, not at the corner, which is uh, always a little bit of a bummer. Let's just smoke. Smoke the Sky Ranger. Smoke the ground. Um, just in case they actually spot us, let's... Uh, let's drop the weapons from those who are most likely to get... Uh, get attacked and uh, as we learned from the previous one we will probably see we will probably see um, oh no this is a different team so it will probably be uh, Kremionis and Taurus and Eldorts here in the front and Minamolk they are the they are the decoys but I will drop the weapons from the others as well just in case because we never ever know Just making sure we don't we don't see any aliens. Okay, we don't. Hmm. Man, I don't like the fact that the smoke doesn't protect us from shots like that. I think the tank took the shot. Or maybe it missed. Okay, Mr. Cyberdisc. Let's see what you are made of and let's eat some shots with the tank. I don't know how it spotted us. For a moment, I thought we got 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 the get out of get out of jail free card, but uh, I think it was right there. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Let me uh. Let me take a look. Oh, there's more. Yeah, they are right there, and they are probably ready to, uh, ready to reaction fire as well. Hmm. Okay. Someone is checking the tire pressure as usual. Okay. Well, that's why we have the tank. The tank has actually 
actually taken all the shots like a boss. Not uh, not taking a single point of damage. Okay, this guy is a little bit dangerous there, so let's uh, let's take him to our side. Actually, should have done that before I did the last move with uh, with the tank. Okay, more guys there. I see that the uh, leg of the battleship has broken. I see that already. I might take reaction shots from that guy with, uh, with the sectoid here, but let's see. Ah, very nice spots here. Very nice. Okay, this looks alright. Looks like a, looks like a decent beginning for us. Much easier than the previous one because we oh, we have really taken. We have really done damage to the battleship this time. Two legs out. Okay. Yeah, I think this guy has uh, has some shots left, but. Um Okay, I need to shoot this thing because we can't get off the ramp without it. Uh... Without this one uh, seeing us. And let's see if, if it gets reaction shots on these uh, sectors or not. This sector it can't, can't shoot for... Shoot for much. So let's leave him here. Then uh, let's take this guy. Hmm. No reaction shots from the. No reaction shots from the from the cyber disk. We have a shot on that guy. I don't know if those were misses or were you just trying to kill the mount. Good shot. Very good shot, actually. Good job. Good job, Greymog. How is it even standing? Oh, that's true. <laughs> that's true with two legs guard, which I think is I guess it's standing on these three. The elevator is just holding it up, so it's like uh, uh, it's just dipping dipping here from the from the third floor. Okay, let's take these guys forward as our meat shields. Uh, let's drop your dangerous things there. So you will be also scouts. Have to be careful here with this. Uh, smoke will get a little bit thicker. Let's see, could I get... Um... Alright, I can actually move you now. Move you now as well here. Go above the smoke and take a, take a look. Seems... Seems alright. Hey Hot Sage! Hey Nether! this H. I 
expect uh, ex expect Cremionis, Zaud and Eldots to be the ones who take the shots. So I will actually take them... Uh, actually, should I even block them in the ship? You know what, I should do that. Probably works even better. So if they panic or they, they are taking control, I will have two guys standing at the door. So that... Uh, so that they uh, they don't get out. Because last time we had a little bit of trouble with the aliens taking mind control of the of the decoys and then walking them into the ship, and I had to make some uh, some choices I would have might have not done otherwise. So let's keep them here until I see who they start targeting. And of course they will be without weapons. These guys... are good. I leak as well without weapons. And then uh, let's do the safety and also drop weapons from uh, the ones that I'm not 100% certain about. Here we go. Should be pretty good because we killed two cyber discs and we have uh, three meat shields out, so. And I'm not talking about beer milk. Hey, Christian. I think they went for beer milk. Beer milk... Uh, El Dawn with the 60 bravery, so didn't panic. But will probably next turn, so I have to be mindful of the... Mindful of that, that we remember to drop the weapons. Very nice spotting. I spotted one up here. One up here and also a cyber disc. Very nice spotting from this guy. Beautiful, in fact. Okay, Mr. Piramalk, before you lose your mind. You want to kill uh, you want to kill a cyber disc? So, okay, let's take that guy who's up, up here, he will give us vision. Here and we see another guy, very good start, very good start, I like this. Much better than we have what we had last time. And use, oh nice chain, we need to see someone in the third floor as well. Beautiful, beautiful. Very good, very good. Okay, let's start. Uh, let's start scouting. Okay, we we really wrecked this one. 
Might be someone in the smoke, but I will leave this guy here as uh, as a damage sponge on whoever is down there. If someone is hiding in the smoke, or if someone comes from here, let's turn this guy facing that way. And this guy. Can I make it to that door? Not quite. So then I should should check this notorious mison door. Maybe take this guy here, watching that way. And then this guy up here. Let's hold on to that that grenade for just a little moment. here blocking shots in the third floor. So several angles unchecked, but uh, we have these um, we have these aliens here keeping an eye. Keeping an eye for us. If someone comes from here we will see it. Yeah, it's very good. Take the tank here and uh, cover. Oh, ooh, that guy was hiding in the smoke from these guys. Good spot, tank. Nice. That was important. That would have been uh, easy shots for that guy on someone. Let's see if I used grenade with you, so that would be twenty-nine, so thirty-one points. Oh, hello. Hello, Cyberdisc. Uh, actually, I might have shots on that one. I might I might hit this guy, which would be unfortunate, but... Uh, I use your points already. I actually want this guy as a scout, so... So, let's try to get this one with the base first. Actually... I want this guy alive, so let's move him uh, away from the explosion. Because he's there blocking whoever comes out of this one and take the sh takes the shots for us. So let's not try to let's not get that guy killed right away in the explosion. If there was one thing I would change about this game, it probably would be the infinite range psionic power. It does take over a bit. That is true. The psionics are definitely overpowered and that would be a good one good way to uh, limit it. Kind of uh, because it, there is a difficulty like the further you are from the from the one who you try to mind control uh, the harder it is but still like with uh, with the max or really high skill it still happens every time. But uh, so they they could make it that kind of a kind of make that scale such that uh, it would get so hard that it would just fail. And also, uh, I would I would also introduce some sort of cooldown on it that you could do the panic attacks, but maybe maybe one mind control per turn. Kind of there's there's a lot of ways, and that uh, kind of it's it's obvious that it's uh, it's. Um, it's overpowered, but uh, since this is my first playthrough, it uh, it was like this in the vanilla. I'm I'm using everything and not limiting myself in using it. Even that uh, uh, for for quite a lot is it has made the some of these missions quite a routine. But on the other hand, a uh, couple of missions yesterday showed that uh, all you all you need is a little bit of a newer. Psionics who necessarily can't 100% control everyone, and then uh, then you have some fun again. But yeah, those those things would be. Oh, I forgot to uh, forgot the weapon. Damn it! 
No. Oh, wasted action points, damn it. Okay, I will leave that there. Yeah, let's drop it drop it there for Tommy. Tommy and pick it up next turn. Alright, oh, I didn't pick up weapons with these guys yet. That's that was the problem. and then you guys walk and uh, block the door. Even that they were targeting Pyramolk last time. But let's see what they do. These guys are fine and these guys will not pick up their weapons until I see who the leaders start targeting. Rooks and Elidor seems to be fine but let's drop the weapons once again. Those guys are dropped their weapons already. I think we are... I think we are good. Well, should stare at the screen every time to see where the movement happens, but I missed that. Okay, Piermalk resisted those. Nice. Nice, no morale lost that turn. Beautiful. Beautiful. See that guy as well, that's good. Let's use our our friends here. Shamelessly. That's a new guy. Came from the usual usual disco floor. Disco floor room. Didn't have action points to do anything. So that's good. See what I do with them. I think I, I think I left one guy there who we don't see yet. Yeah. I think I think also we have enough enough scouts here so we can shoot this guy. Take an auto shot with that. Well, anyway, uh, actually, let's take let's take this guy here. Check the corridors. All right, it's mind control. That's one yet. Nice. And that that's a blast launcher as well. Ooh-wee! That was close. That was close. 
Got some evil plans for us. Hello, Commander. Why don't you drop that, because uh, that looks dangerous in your hands. Very dangerous. Sectoid soldier. Do you have... Uh, I think I, if I drop this you don't have time to open the door. Uh, I think I will just drop the grenade. Oh, that only takes four. Nice. Okay, I think we... I think we got the nastiest guys away, because that guy has a blast launcher as well, and that's one of the leaders. Yeah. Okay. Options. Just blast with the blast launcher and kill these two, two guys right here. Um... Yeah, I think I, I think I got most of them already. Let's check this side. So this leg is still unknown. Known and there's probably a guy here. Okay, but this is already very very good. This time this time the mind control mind control things went really uh, really nicely. And it doesn't hurt when these legs are broken like this. The puppet master indeed. And this one we are. Mm-hmm. You know what? Bye. We have so, so many of them to control here that uh, just getting rid of couple makes it, uh, makes it easier. Yeah, I think the guys, well, actually I can, I do have action points to walk so we can spot that guy as well. Okay, good. So positions, positions the usual this time and because I have the, I have the 100% Mind control team here. This is uh, this is simpler, simple this time. Um, you know, let's let's uh, let's be a little bit efficient this time and take care of these two here with the grenade. Okay, so those two die. You guys can stay there. There's probably one guy here, but that might be it. Might be it. I didn't pick up weapons with anyone here, so we are fine. So let's just uh, let's just pass the turn and now. Uh, Double scream. There's still a leader up. Still a leader up. Still trying to make Biermalk panic, but Biermalk doesn't even flinch from that. Gained morale from all those kills. Nice. Good job, Biermalk. Perfect decoy. Actually eating the, eating the panic attacks, but not, f not falling for them. Very nice. Very nice. Very nicely done. Good. 
could you make a big bang by scattering bombs around? Um, grenades, yes. Oh, actually, no. Do they do they explode on from other explosions if they are not primed? No, they don't. And the blaster bombs don't explode un unless they are shot. So you can't do like a chain thing. Something you could do in um, in uh, Jacked Lions. Just walking this commander here so we can kill the commander next turn. Shoot me. Oh, you have a blaster launcher. That looks dangerous on you, little sectoid. So why don't you let me tell you what to do with it? Yeah, that looks that looks very dangerous. Why don't you just kindly leave it there? You know, just uh you don't need to uh you don't need to mess around with that. Are you alone in here? You are good. Mm. Oh, someone has panicked here. Still a leader somewhere who I who I haven't shot probably in this room. Even that I already took the commander who probably came from this room. anyone anything to be there but uh, you never know until you check okay I think so we have uh, this room is probably clear but uh, have to be have to do some things there. I still have this guy here, who will be my eyes if needed. Okay, the leader didn't do anything this time. Oh, did the smoke go... Smoke go thicker there? Them. Let's 
go find that one one guy who we we haven't seen yet. leader. Looks like the leader panicked once. No, it's the navigator. Ah, the leader was hiding behind a chair again. <laughs> I knew, I knew what you tried. You you hit there last time, but nope, not this time. I think you also had a blast launcher. Uh, that would actually be an easy way to deal with these guys right here. You know what? Why don't you? Why don't you do a little, 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 little boom, boom, boom? Right there. The sector is right there. Less to worry about. And uh, I'm pretty sure I have all the guys now. Might be one. There might be one here, but I I'm pretty sure I actually got them all. Yeah, this was this was it. And no leaders. No leaders left. <laughs> so have some target practice with these guys. Last practice with the mind control guys. Well, maybe not the last. Alright. That guy's not ours yet. Guys, uh, we should be. Should be alright now because there are no leaders. Let's see how this turn goes. Just in case I forgot that one of these guys is actually a leader. Panic is better than Berserk, because in Panic they might actually move. We okay, still have a couple of guys up there, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's grab them. And then to the slaughter. Slaughter with you. Yeah, I 
think this was the last guy who was inside. Execution time. A reaction practice. Misses or non lethal shots are good, so if you would really want to push this, you would actually bring some, uh, some normal rifles or something that uh, you, could, you could shoot forever with without even killing them, and then. Uh, just practice forever. You don't you don't want to move. Okay, this guy this guy we need to shoot, so let's uh Let's shoot. Good job. Good, good job. Read and grad plus six. Very nice psionic gains there. Uh, time units for Antarian, that's good. Rasamati carry steel blink as well. Beer Malk didn't get bravery. What? What? He resisted like eight, eight mind attacks. Ah. Okay, but we have an, another mission right away with the US team against um, floaters. I think floaters. In the dark. In the dark. But yeah, these are these are floaters. Floaters, but uh, but a nighttime mission. So there's always uh, always a little bit of a uh, little bit of a danger with these. And uh, but in the US team, we do have Mickey who can mind control anything at will, even if they were something else than. Uh, than floaters. Uh, let's check the weapons of this team. I have one extra Psy amp. Would I like to practice someone's someone's Psy who's not using it at the moment? Buzzard Hawk has 81, so I might uh, might do something there. Yeah, probably not. I'll keep it in your backpack. Uh, this is a large scout. Large scout floaters. Night time, I said. This is the dangerous moment when uh, when I'm when I'm. Um, Throwing the first grenade, and it looks like we. No, I think this is the edge. No, we are not quite in the edge, but we are in the northern northern corner. If we would have been parked in the middle, right right next to a building, uh, this would have been the dangerous moment when I throw the first grenade. Because there could be someone standing there who we don't who we don't see, but they see us. And they might react react to that shot right there. So can you can you do see like a little bit of building there? Can you light up the corner just in case someone does come from that side? And then... Um, I 
Smoke the, smoke the front of the Sky Ranger. Okay, the, we, we might have like a signal of loader. Single of loader mission here because that's uh, that looks so wrecked. But let's see. Oh no! It was it was not it was actually a small one, right? It was not even scouts. I mean the it was small scouts. Why is that called a medium scout? I don't know. Anyway. If it would have been bigger, this would have been actually a little bit more dangerous, but as it's as it was, we are we are kinda of fine here. Be nice to see that see that floater. Wouldn't wouldn't mind that one bit. No floaters. Because if they if they do get a shot on us, then uh, that will of course give them a chance to. Uh, Kill one of us as well. Hmm. There's a building somewhere. This might be empty. I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, I see one of those. Someone with lights needs to come forward. We still have lights. Again, someone might be standing there and get a reaction shot when I actually throw this. Okay, just more of those things. And some space there as well for someone to come in. The building is it must be some actually I see maybe a wall here so the guy would be somewhere in this area be somewhere in that area then the nighttime nighttime missions are scary I 
can never never be 100% sure. Do you do you see or not? I think this is the corner here. Because of that fire, I think we see relatively well there. Yeah, this was just completely, completely wrecked. So I'm, I'm thinking this. There's one floater here, and that's it. The one floater just might get a nasty surprise on us if it floats from there and uh, gets shot. Yep. As I said, don't hit. Okay, he had a chance. He had a chance. Okay, now someone spot that guy, please. That's exactly what I thought would happen, because the, they... Um, it's very hard because of that... Um, so he's somewhere in there. I might not be able to... Oh, I see him. Okay, good. Good, good, good. But yeah, that might actually be the last... Just one single guy, so let's shoot him. Instead of mind control. Also, no, I should mind control to get uh, get a training and also, also a scout. Okay, there's one more. Two more. How did these buildings fit here so well? There's so many of them. but that's fine. Oh, needed to practice. I'm surprised there's so many of them here. With uh, how how did they survive that UFO? No, are you shooting? Oh, that's wow. I think I think he was shooting this guy, but I'm not sure. And also, where he where is he? This is a very sneaky map, actually. Actually, actually, I need to focus on this one, not to not to get get someone killed. Oh come on! No, actually, I think uh, I think he's not in the line of sight. That's why that's why this guy shot here. If this guy would have moved a little bit differently, I might have might have gotten shot there. Pretty sure. Okay. 
Yeah. Oh, perfect. Perfect shooting. So these guys here. Any more left. I'm surprised how many... There were like eight floaters in this small UFO. Like, what? How? How, I ask? How did they survive and how did how did they fit in the how did they fit in the UFO? I'm not doing reaction practice this time, let's just finish this. Wait, wait, what? How much did you how much redact did you did you put in the dead count up? Do you have any points left? Is this, is this correct? Did you and others actually bet fifty-five thousand? No, wait a bit, how how is this? Ah, no, 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 it's... Oh, right, right, right. Okay, so there's 3k. Okay, I actually thought that the number shows how much is going for the winners, but it's it's rallies after total. Never mind. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I thought you would you would be such a crazy dude that you actually put 50,000 on, on the dead count up. <laughs> okay, it's actually showing me the total of the... Total of the betting. Uh, okay, very nice gains for Fosnitep, some time units as well, Basilisk, very nice, not so much psionic skill, but uh, got some time units, time units here as well, very good, no accuracy gains, but uh, time unit is always nice. Time unit is always nice, okay, as these ones return from the mission, we are ready to select... Select the team. The one and only team. The team but that will go and meet their doom in Mars. I'm I'm just selling these just in case I actually need to empty the empty the storages for uh, or if I need to order so I actually can't order order for example smokes if I don't have uh, don't have the inventory space and right now I don't think I have Well of blast launchers. Okay, we have collected a good bunch of them. Almost everyone gonna have a blast launcher for the final mission. Okay, how's the storage looking? Storage is still full. Jeez. So, so much stuff. Uh Okay, let's uh, let's fill the let's fill the event. No, we can't fill the adventure yet. Let's wait. I have all these power suits as well. Can I give these guys anything yet? Personal armors. Okay. 
I'm not even going to use them, but uh, I might as well send them some armors. Uh, actually, let's send some more uh, more alloys while at it. South America. have a lot of stuff as well. Send those. Okay, almost there. I have so many so many plastic okay I can actually sell to Sell heavy explosives because I'm actually I can sell all of them because I'm not using them. Layers I don't know how many do I need in the final one. We also have an extra extra tanks here that I can send elsewhere. I need to make space for uh, for Europe because we need to get stuff here for the. Okay, now I, now I can at least order smokes for the final mission. Final mission, so that's taken care of. And I have some space in the living quarters, so I can transfer to. to the finale guys here. So then we wait. We wait for the tanks. We wait for the blast launcher tank. But there's probably still a mission mission or something coming up here in Earth before we uh, go for the finale. That's good. That was done. So let's build... Um, I don't know how many of these bombs do I need per tank. Actually, I can probably check that, right? So we are in Asia. Remember to check Asia. Um, it takes eight rounds. Okay. Jump manufacture production fusion bomb start production. Let's make ten. Build those transferred first launcher ready. First launcher ready. Uh, I'm a little bit short on Elerium there, so maybe you shouldn't build any of those. Uh, build, build another one while waiting. Basis North America, uh, no, North America transfer. Transfer to Europe. Transfer to Launcher Tank. Uh, anything else from here? Extra medikits. Extra, extra Psy Amps. Uh, we have enough blaster launchers there and bombs. Uh, yeah, those. In Asia. Send some Elerium. Elerium to the US. The D 
different bases that I have. Go, so that they can still use the Firestorm as we need it. Remember to sell the loot? Didn't I didn't I sell the loot? Wasn't that exactly what I was doing? Because uh, you get the loot teleported into the base. Uh, no, but actually the US. Did I sell the US loot? I didn't sell all of them. Almost, I almost sold all of them. Uh, yeah, good. 22 million. Oh, one thing I did forget to do. No, I actually did that, okay. I remember I didn't allocate the new new building, but I did. If we get a mission, reorder the soldiers. <laughs> I just noticed the <laughs> Big ass note with capitals on my desktop. Say it's the order. <laughs> okay, so um, it's ten, eleven, thirteen, fourteen. We will see who will actually make it to the final team, but if these guys need to go for one or more mission, so... 2, 4, 6, 8, wait, alright. Now now I have to now I have to do it like that, so it's an... Uh, no, but to be, I don't actually want to do that. The 8 guys, like, all the way in the back. Uh, so actually, that could be... That could be Eilikaten. So two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So I put you there. Ah, yeah, that is now. Now that is correct. Now that is correct. Because that's the. I wish there was a number here, so I didn't have to count. Two, four, six, eight. That's the guys in the back. Then we have the left hand side. One, two, three, four. So out yeah, okay, right. Wait, why why don't these add up? No, because there's there's five. There's five on the sides. There's five on the sides, that's right. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, 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 there's five, five on the sides, not four. Hey, Aliga. Good morning, Commander. Okay. Uh, 10 last checks. Last checks for the psionics elsewhere. Any new numbers? You know, I, I have to wait that t -Rod gets a number. <laughs> t -Rod has was one of the very, very early redeems and has been just <laughs> stuck. Stuck in the base in the psionic training. Went for a vacation because the first, first T-Rod was low on, uh, low on um, psionic strength. And uh, I don't know why this has taken ages to get a number. Man. Okay, but uh, yeah, I will. I will wait for that, and then we'll start to see who will uh, who will come to the who will come for Europe. Same thing with NCC Voyager. Actually, has been has been in the checking for the longest time. And these guys, like, what the hell? Come on, give me the numbers already. Damn. Well, there is a. The month is about to change, so that might, uh, that might, maybe that will trigger it.
Okay, building the tank is super fast. It is it is like ridiculously fast. Hey. What? France and Japan have left. No. Monthly rating 20,000. That was a decent. Okay. I I think what happens is I think what happens is uh, when you get the infiltration mission when you take the infilt uh, when you get the infiltration mission two battleships and one supply ship as soon as as soon as one of those battleships lands that's a successful infiltration because that's what's happened here we had uh, battleship battleship supply ship in France and we have a battleship battleship supply ship in Japan. Just that fight we just did. And I think that's a successful infiltration when the battleship lands. Which kind of sucks. Because we, we shot one down, went immediately for the landed one, and still they were successful in their mission. So we actually lost income. <laughs> and we are 6 million. 6 million in the negative. But that's a, that's a decent month. That's a decent month. I think we are... I think we are leading this war. But let's still go and finish finish the fight in uh, in Mars. But I I do have to okay, let me wait for this notification. There we go. Okay, so let's let's just see how's this What? No, oh, that's the finance. No, wait, what? How did I go from 20,000 to zero? Is this a monthly score? I thought this was a... Uh, I thought this was my current score. I thought this is my current score, but is it is it monthly score because it's now at zero? It's monthly score. Ah, oh, I call bullshit. <laughs> I think okay. What what I thought was that this is like our our current score goes to two thousand, goes to zero, goes to twelve thousand, goes to twenty four. But it's actually that our our March was whatever that is two thousand. April and May were like five hundred, five hundred, four thousand, eight hundred. August was eight thousand. September was twenty thousand. And now we are in the beginning of October with zero. <laughs> I'm familiar with that kind of finance graph. Yeah, I uh, I thought how this works is that now that we are in the beginning of October, nothing has happened, we would be here. Like, this would be flat line. But uh, this is a monthly score. So basically, whatever you have done in the previous months doesn't matter. Because I think it's game over if you get negative two too much negative score two months in a row. Anywho. Anywho, I wonder if there's a, I wonder if there's a base now in Europe. Is there a base in Europe? Is there a base in Japan? Sectoid Terror. Uh, the Asian Firestorm is out of order. It's not good because we have two. Snakeman very small. I actually intercept that first. Shoot it down. But this one will come from Europe. Oh, 
All right, because the because the month changed. Let me see. Did we get some results right away? We did. We finally know. Beer marks and oh, Basie actually has a good score. Nice. I was suspecting that, but now we know. And beer mark is not nearly as low as I thought it would be. Amazing. Ooh, look at Mantisa Dev the second. Ties the highest score with Fosnetep. Nice. And Chocolate Fire Card will make a very nice... Okay, these are good numbers. For some reason, Jabber didn't get a number. Okay, all those are... There were some really good ones there. Okay. Mm, 39. We we know that Piermalk is a decoy. So let's go with that. Uh, Basie, that's, uh, that's strong. That's strong. Basie has been doing pretty well as well, like just overall. So I'm happy, happy to see 70 plus. <laughs> I lost faith in Aurelius with that one mission because the bravery is so low. You know, the, the panic attacks just make him uh, make him berserk. You still don't know the number for for Bled. Come on, come on, game. Give me those numbers. I don't actually think Asklion is a decoy, but uh, for some reason I have marked him as one. That is quite low. That does go into the decoy. Decoy, bar, Jepper, we don't know yet, but yeah, Mantisative. Super high. Definitely gonna get Mantisa on the, on the missions right away. Zongzi Decoy. Multi backing. That's. That's alright. That's alright. Sadly, the other other stats are not that great. That is all right, but uh, so sixty-three is. Uh, hmm. Let's keep the side on the seventy, on to like sixty-five or sixty-nine, six seventy plus. Uh, yep, definite definite decoy. Even Deco there, that's, uh, that's a good score for that. Okay. So with that in mind... With that in mind... Like, I ideal Deco would have low psionic strength but high bravery. Uh, which is kind of kind of what uh, what Beer Malk has had. Uh, for some reason they still target him, even that he's not uh, not the weakest one. Premionis, Eldor's Mean and Bolkia has decent bravery as well. Harry luckily has a high psionic strength, so that then so that doesn't matter. Okay, but these kind of these guys that kind of fall in between, like. Rooks and Illidor, they are they are sadly out of the of the finale. So let's let's start making let's start putting the Avenger into into order we need them to be in. Right, and then I have to then I have to reorder the whole ship. Yeah, well that's that's how it's going to be. So let's take you down. Down. Hmm. Let's uh, let's first see. Let's first see if I like take the if I take the good guys in. Like if I if I remove the decoys. 
I remove the decoys, how many do we have here that will go for the final mission? And uh, some of these like 50, 50 or so ones, they are a little bit, a uh, little bit sketchy. Because I can't be, I can't know for certain that they will, uh, they can stay in. Okay, so that's that's ten. Let's see if they are. To... Okay, what what I will start doing is um, taking the guys from the from North America and Asia as well. So from from Asia we will get Basilisk, Mickey, Fonsnatef, Vulpix, uh, Buzzard Hawk. Anyone else? Holy shit! We got a 100 rookie. And still no number for T Rod. Holy shit! Okay, that's okay. We skipped 99 and went straight into 100. Okay, some someone from the redeem list is getting in. As a fresh, probably as a fresh rookie into Mars. That's insane. That is insane. Uh, okay, these guys... Lunar Eclipse, maybe. Nicholas, maybe. Let's take a look at the European numbers. Yeah, I will have to drop Tommy. I will have to drop Tommy. 70... It needs to be 69 or more. It needs to be 69 or more. Okay, who's the lucky redeem? Who's the lucky redeem? Let me see. Let me see. I believe it is. I I believe it is F. Stiebeling. Am I am I correct or am I wrong? Why? Wait a minute. Have I named that already? Uh, let me just double check. I haven't I haven't the renamed these ones because they are not not fighting anywhere. No, and then we have. Uh, uh, no, Tix, you are you are still alive. I didn't check the Asian base yet. Do we have F. Stiebeling? We don't. No, we don't. Check the memorial. Okay, yeah. That is, that is insane. That is insanely lucky. Mr. 100. Also, also has uh, 69 accuracy as a rookie. That is that is some pretty good stat rolls right there. Just overall. Okay, very nice. Just organizing my organizing my list here. 
and as I have said, like if you have redeemed the soldier, because for for some who has been who have been watching for a long time, watching all these streams, you have a lot of channel points. But for some, like the fifteen thousand might actually be uh, if you if you died immediately or you didn't see action. I think it's uh, I think it's right that we change things up a bit and. Uh, get those names who didn't see action in this one into there from the deep. Where you probably will die immediately, but at least you will get in. Um, yeah, I think my... I think my... My bookkeeping is now, now alright. Okay, so from North America... Uh, these five... And <laughs> st oh, and, and uh, F steeple. They're still uh, st still waiting for T rod. It's almost almost getting getting ridiculous with uh, <laughs> how long that is taking. Uh, let's take a couple of heavy lasers with us. Let's see if we let's see if we have a squad for uh well you know what I think T Rod will get uh get into the US boat, maybe he will go on a mission. Mission before, but we still we just have enough guys in the in the boat for the US, but uh these this will be a risky risky missions, like suicide missions if we go into missions with these guys in uh, uh in Earth still. Uh, here we are. I think we are waiting for Sky Ranger to return. Yeah. Okay. But let's uh, shoot these UFOs down. <laughs> I've never been this happy. I don't know, Zerod. Hopefully, hopefully the results will satisfy our both. It it will be. I hope it's either super low or super high. It will be very disappointing if it's right there in the middle range and we have been waiting for the results for nothing. <laughs> I will prove myself in the heat of battle, boss. Just give me a shot. I don't know, T-Rod. We have to. We have to wait for the assessment. Oh, come on, boss. I can do it. <sighs> and then, in the end, you are you are commanded into the into the diving squad in terror from the deep, <laughs> stepping out of the stepping out of the sub as the first soldier. I would like to shoot these guys down without them uh, getting to do anything. All right, I, I, I didn't take a break, did I? I didn't. I look, I look for. Oh, okay. Wait, they do have a base in Antarctica because they are coming in with a supply ship. Or are they building one? Oh crap, I I will... Ah, shoot. Okay, what will I do with these guys now? Hey, Cyber and yeah, thanks for the follow. Because uh, I, I don't want to take these fights anymore. Necessarily. How can we how can we stop this supply ship? US US uh, firestorm is rearming how for how long? One hour. Do I go and shoot this with the Avenger? I don't really want to do that either. Hmm. 
Ah, uh, yeah, they, uh, they really want to build a base now. And I don't, I don't really have fighters, fighters there in there. Oh, for fuck's sake, this is getting. <laughs> we have a lot of, lot of things happening. Okay, why don't you fly here? Uh, lost my scepter of light there. Rearming. Do I need to take the Avenger out and shoot one of them? But the Avenger is not ready right now. I should have built. I should have built more. Uh, no wait. I wonder if the lightning can take out. Wait. Do you have? Uh... This is the last skull strike. I think the lightning can take that out with one. Uh... No, but let's come after this as well. From South America. Uh, why don't you fly into the ocean, please? <coughs> you know what? I before we go into these ones, I, I need to take a break. Let's listen to the more. Let's listen to listen to the awesome music after the break. So I will just take care of these. As soon as the Sky Ranger returns to Asia, we can take the guys from Asia and re transfer them to Europe. And then I then I need the bombs to manufacture from Asia so that we can get the fusion tank. And then we are ready. So I'm I might have to do one mission in between. Maybe to maybe to check that everything is okay in the adventure and probably get some of the guys killed in the process when I do that. But let's have a short break. And I'll see you guys in just a moment. So if you if you joined after the beginning, uh, today is the final. I'm just preparing the adventure for the for Sidonia. Finale today, there from the deep begins tomorrow. First playthrough blind superhuman. It will be horrible and great. But anyway, let's let's have a break and uh, finish the fight today. <laughs> 